Hello, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can compensate for the delay introduced by the filters. So, filter is a technique which actually removes any particular type of noise, whatever you design in the filter, and uh, this filtering a signal introduces a delay. This means that the output signal is shifted in time with respect to the input. As you can see here clearly, so this blue color is original signal and this orange color is our filtered signal. But if you see here, there is a little shift and this phase shift we are going to compensate in this lesson. So this type of filtering technique is known as a zero phase filtering. So in a zero phase filtering we compensate our phase shift. So let's first create a data and uh, we are going to create here sample data with sampling frequency let's say 100 and then t would be 1 divided by fs right and now let's create a t t is equal to 1 sorry it will start from 0 to uh, Let's say it will start 0 with the t and then it will go until 1 minus t, right? So the t is 1 cross 100. Now we are going to create a signal s is equal to sine 2 multiplied by pi and multiplied by f and we are going to take here uh, 10 cycle, 10 is a little more so we are going to take here 5 so this is 2 pi f and then multiplied by t so here we are keeping frequency f is equal to 5 right then we are going to generate a noise and then we will add that noise into signal so let's generate right noise random okay so the random normalized random number of size t and raised random number will be of size t and then we can plot this and we can see so here is a uh, you know sinusoidal signal x uh, perhaps the noise is a little you know a little more we can decrease this noise with let's say 0 0.5 multiplication and then let's plot this x now you can see this is sinusoidal signal and there is a little noise in the sinusoidal signal has been added so let's first perform, uh, let's, let's uh, first design a filter using design filter. So design filter is a MATLAB function and uh, we can get a, you know, the MATLAB uh, to do the our filter designing processing in the background by calling this design filter function of MATLAB. So this design filter takes first parameter as a response and the response is low pass IIR filter and then it asks about the filter order here is a filter order and we are going to pass filter order as a 10 and then, then it asks here pass band frequency and the pass band frequency uh, is our uh, let's say our frequency is 5 so passband uh, frequency will be let's say 6 okay so we need to pass frequency uh, till 6 and after that it also ask about a passband ripple so in a passband uh, i'm going to allow here 1 db of ripple and then it also ask about stop band attenuation okay so stop band attenuation in the stop band attenuation i am going to give here uh, 40 db of stop band attenuation and then finally it asks about the sampling rate so the sample rate is our fs which is 100 now let's design this filter d and we are going to calculate here response y and response y is equal to filter d d is a filter response and then 
input is into x and let's plot this y then I'll show you here this is our Schoenert hurdle signal but here you see at the uh, you know the, in the recent uh, when the filter started it takes some time to get the final you know the final uh, response right so let's plot this y as well as let's hold on and plot x on it in fact plot the signal s on it and let's bring that figure on the foreground and you will see here there is a phase shift right so this is corresponding to this one this one is corresponding to this one and this is corresponding to this one so there is a phase shift now our task is to remove this phase shift and this phase shift can be simply removed by using filled filled you know the techniques of uh, MATLAB but before that let me show you how many uh, how much group delay has been added so you can get that using a MATLAB uh, function group delay and in the group delay it asks about the response and then it also asks about the filter order which we had designed the filter order filter order was 10 here and then it asks about the sampling frequency right sorry uh, actually this is uh, not a filter order uh, this is total you know uh, total samples which we are you know the plotting there so this is 500 right so if you see there is a group relay now what we are going to do we are going to use you know the zero phase filtering to remove that phase shift simply we can use here zero phase filtering so let's get that uh, y response y underscore final is equal to filled filled and in this field field we are going to pass here filter response that was the d and then output and then input x now let's plot this y final now you will see here let's hold on and uh, let's plot y here and also i'm going to plot here uh, signal s as well and then bring all the figure on the foreground now you see as you can see here this signal was filtered by with the, you know, the normal filter which has introduced a lot of phase shift and then the blue color is original signal and this color okay the second one is uh, which is following the original signal is a zero phase filtered signal now as you can see here this has been exactly the following uh, you know the real signal without any problem okay so in this video we have learned how we can remove phase shift from a uh, filter right uh, from a filtered response we can use filled filled response uh, filled filled function of MATLAB to remove a phase shift from a uh, filtering response Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.